Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's take a look at the dual protocol M.2 LSD enclosure from Oracle. It supports both the M.2 NVMe and the M.2 SATA LSD in different form factor 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280. Besides, it also supports USB, and the transmission rate can reach up to 10 Gbps when using the NVMe protocol. Now, let's open the box and see what is inside. First, we have a USB cable. This cable is capable of handling 10 Gbps data transmission. On this end of the cable, we have the USB Type-C connector. And on the other end, we have the USB Type-C connectors and a Type-C to Type-A adapter. And here is the enclosure that we are waiting for. It was made from aluminum alloys and looks very solid. Next, we have the heat sink. It is also made from aluminum alloy. And the silicon thermal pad. It will help to transfer the heat from your M.2 LSD to the aluminum heat sink. We also have two silicon plugs to hold the M.2 LSD in place. Lastly, there is a small user manual. It comes with the installation instructions as well as the safety information. Now, let's remove the screws and install the M.2 LSD. Repeat the same step to remove the second screw and generally take out the board. Now, let's insert the silicon plug to the M.2 LSD. And insert the LSD to the M.2 connectors on the board. After that, use your finger to push the silicon plug into the holes on the PCB. We are good, let's put the thermal pad on the M.2 LSD. Before that, don't forget to remove the plastic cover. According to the user manual, you can just put the heat sinks on top of the thermal pad. However, you can install the heat sink by sliding from left to right for the best fit. It looks great. Now, let's put everything back into the case and tighten the screw holding the PCB. Continue to put back the cover back and tighten the screw. Let's connect the USB cables and we are ready to rock and roll. Now, let's check out the speed in window. Currently, the NVMe RAID is in EX fast format because I'm using it with Windows and Mac OS. 
from the Crystal Disk Info application. We can see that the interface is UASB. Even though I'm using the NVMe right, my PC only supports 5GBPS USB 3.0 throughput. Therefore, I will unable to reach the higher speed test with this enclosure. However, the testing result looks good and stable among the tests. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.